Hey, I'm Nick with DuramaxTuner.com. This week's Diesel Insight is how to get rid of that money burning a hole in your pocket. We got a 2015 LML in front of us, and I got Mike in the background here tearing the whole fuel system out of it because uh, this guy got a really good deal on fuel. Forensic analysis brings us back to the fuel tank. That's where the water is, and that, that's really the start of this bad story. Water comes up with the fuel, the lubricity is crap, takes out the CP4 pump, and the CP4 pump is unique in that when it fails, it sends all the debris downstream. So not just a pump failure, it goes through the lines, into the rails, into the injectors, into the return circuit. So on top of replacing the entire fuel system, Mike has to go underneath, take the lines down, drop the tank, flush all that. I mean, it's a, it's a huge job. You're looking at an $8,000 bill. You don't want to be there. But let me show you the carnage. I got the CP4, big V-twin. We pull the regulator out of this thing, you look at the screen, and you can see there's debris all over the screen, uh, metal shavings. We took our magnet, put that down in the hole, pull the metal shavings out. It's ugly, man. I mean, this pump's got no chance. We know we have a failure on the regulator side, but that failure also comes through to the outlets. So these outlets go to the fuel rails, on the fuel rail, got the temperature sensor or the uh, pressure sensor, and we also have the electronic relief valve. Um, it's not uncommon for both of these to be failed as well, as that metal debris goes through at very high pressure. It can, it, <laughs> it's nasty. 30,000 psi with metal shavings. I mean, you can imagine. So the rail, the rails are going to be packed full of stuff. Um, the relief valve is probably going to be failed. Brings us to the injectors, right? That fuel goes into the injectors. Here's the return circuit. So this is a return circuit off the injectors, and this bulb's little job is to make sure that the injectors have, um, it, it depends, but somewhere between 70 and 150 PSI of, of regulator pressure. And that's how the piezo injector works. Now what happens is you get metal debris inside this bulb and it can't get the pressure up on the injector, and then the injectors don't work. And what we commonly see after a fuel system failure on an LML truck that hasn't had this replaced is it'll uh, come up an RPM, and then maybe 2200 RPM, the truck will just cut out. And there'll be no white smoke, nothing, just the injectors shut off. And there's no evidence of it in the log file. It's really hard to track down. Um, but this is the cause. So make sure you replace this. Now, nice thing is GM makes a kit. The kit comes with a new CP4, new rails, new injectors. Uh, it's pretty reasonably priced. Now, on top of that, to, to safeguard us against future failures, we're going to add a sump to the tank, and we're going to add a fast uh, 165. And what that's going to do is pre-filter the fuel, make sure we get any debris and water out of the fuel, uh, if we can, to try and stave off this from happening in the future. I'm Nick. This has been Diesel Insights. Catch you next time. If you like these videos and you want to learn more, check out the Diesel Tuners blog, dieseltunersblog.com.